Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel UG Mold Tech. In today's video we uncover the 5 most common mistakes to avoid when designing molds. By steering clear of these costly errors, you can save valuable time, effort, and resources in your mold design process. Whether you are an experienced designer or just starting out, the tips and techniques shared in this video will help elevate your mold design skills to new heights. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind a successful mold design process and equip yourself with the expertise to overcome challenges confidently. Whether you are involved in automotive, aerospace, consumer products, or any other sector that utilizes mold designs, this video is a must for professionals seeking to excel in their field. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update on the latest industry insights, tips, and tutorials. We are committed to helping you achieve your goals. When it comes to mold design, there are several common mistakes that creators should avoid. Here are 5 of them. Let's start with the number 1. Insufficient draft angles. Failing to incorporate proper draft angles can make it difficult to remove the molded part from the mold. This can lead to damage or distortion of the part. Ensure that you include appropriate draft angles to facilitate easy ejection. Draft angle is the degree of taper or slope applied to the vertical faces of a plastic part or plastic product manufactured by injection molding. In plastic injection molding, it is crucial for a smooth ejection of the plastic parts from the mold cavity. Without an appropriate draft angle, the part may get stuck in the mold or sustain damage during ejection, leading to defects and production delays. Draft angles typically are measured in degrees and are applied to the vertical surfaces of the part. The specific angle required depends on several factors, including the type of material being used, the complexity of the part's geometry, and the characteristics of the molding process. Draft angles of around 1 to 2 degrees may be sufficient. However, for deeper molds, draft angles of 3 to 5 degrees or more may be necessary to prevent the part from getting stuck in the mold during ejection and also avoid undercuts in your part design. Friends next point in mold design is 2. Inadequate gate design. The gate is the entry point for the molten material into the mold cavity. Poor gate design can result in issues like improper filling, air entrapment, or excessive pressure. Pay attention to gate location, size, and design to ensure optimal flow and filling. A. Incorrect gate location. Choosing the wrong location for the gate can result in issues such as flow imbalances, weld lines, or cosmetic defects on the final part. It's essential to consider the part geometry, material flow, and desired part properties when determining the gate location. B. Improper gate size. The size of the gate plays a crucial role in controlling the flow of molten material into the mold cavity. Using a gate that is too small can lead to flow restrictions and inadequate filling, while a gate that is too large can cause excessive material waste and potential part defects. C. Inadequate gate type selection. Different types of gates, such as edge gates, sprue gates, or hot runner gates, have unique advantages and limitations. Choosing the wrong gate type for the specific part geometry and material can result in issues like gate vestige, gate blush, or gate freeze off. Friends next point in injection molding design tips is 3. Neglecting cooling system design. Effective cooling is crucial for maintaining dimensional stability and reducing cycle time. Neglecting cooling system design is a common mistake in mold design that can have significant consequences on the quality of the final molded parts. Inadequate cooling can lead to uneven cooling rates, resulting in warpage, sink marks, or other defects in the parts. It's essential to carefully plan and design the cooling system within the mold to ensure efficient and uniform cooling of the parts during the molding process. A. Insufficient cooling channels. Inadequate cooling channels or improper placement of cooling lines can result in uneven cooling of the mold, leading to part warping, sink marks, or longer cycle times. It's essential to ensure proper cooling channel design to maintain consistent temperature distribution throughout the mold. B. Poor cooling channel layout. A poorly designed cooling channel layout can hinder effective heat transfer and cooling efficiency. Avoiding sharp corners, dead spots, or inadequate coverage in the cooling system can help prevent hot spots, thermal gradients, and part defects. C. Neglecting cooling channel sizing. The size and diameter of cooling channels play a crucial role in controlling the cooling rate and cycle time of the molding process. 
Incorrectly sized cooling channels can result in insufficient cooling, longer cycle times, or inconsistent part quality. Friends next point in injection molding draft angle design is 4. Ignoring material properties. Understanding the properties of the materials used in mold design is essential. Ignoring this can lead to poor mold performance and higher chances of defects. Always consider factors like shrinkage, flowability, and thermal cast. A. Inadequate material selection. Choosing the wrong material for the mold can result in issues such as poor mold durability, chemical compatibility issues, or insufficient heat resistance. It's essential to select a material that can withstand the molding process conditions and provide the desired properties for the final parts. B. Neglecting material shrinkage. Different materials exhibit varying degrees of shrinkage during the cooling and solidification process. Ignoring material shrinkage properties can lead to dimensional inaccuracies, warping, or part defects molded parts. C. Failure to consider material flow behavior. Understanding how the material flows and fills the mold cavity is crucial for achieving uniform part filling, minimizing air entrapment, and preventing flow-related defects. Neglecting material flow behavior can result in incomplete filling, voids, or flow marks on the parts. Friends next point in mold prevention is 5. Ignoring parting line considerations. The parting line is where the mold splits into two halves. Ignoring parting line considerations can lead to mismatched surfaces, flash, or difficulty in assembly. Carefully analyze the part geometry and design the parting line to minimize any negative impact on the final product. A. Poor parting line placement. Incorrectly positioning the parting line along the mold can result in visible seam lines, flash, or parting line mismatch on the final molded parts. It's essential to carefully determine the optimal parting line location to minimize aesthetic defects and ensure proper part functionality. B. Neglecting draft angles. Insufficient draft angles along the parting line can make it challenging to eject the molded parts from the mold cavity, leading to sticking, damage, or part distortion. Proper draft angles are essential to facilitate smooth part ejection and prevent molding defects. C. Lack of parting line symmetry. Uneven or asymmetrical parting lines can cause molding issues such as shrinkage, warping, or dimensional inaccuracies in the final parts. Ensuring symmetrical parting lines helps maintain part uniformity and consistency throughout the molding process. Carefully evaluating parting line visibility and implementing design strategies to minimize its impact can enhance the visual appeal of the molded parts. Now let's summarize all five points. 1. Insufficient draft angles. 2. Inadequate gate design. 3. Neglecting cooling system design. 4. Ignoring material properties. 5. Ignoring parting line considerations. Remember, by avoiding these common mistakes, you can significantly improve the reliability and efficiency of your mold design. Friends if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more informative content coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.